Lipids. Let's take a closer look at lipids. How did they get in? Now, you should be thinking right away, there's something different about lipids, and you're right. There is something different about lipids because lipids are hydrophobic. And so we have a different set of, I don't know, rules that lipids follow. First of all, you know that lipids entering the system, they're, um, what are they made out of? Well, they're long strings of triglycerides. Does this look kind of familiar for those of you who have taken Bio 1? This is a glycerol, and these are fatty acid chains. That says chain. It's a fatty acid chain. Of course it says chain. That's why they're called triglycerides. That's what fats are. First of all, bile emulsifies the fat because otherwise all these triglycerides are going to glump together in a little ball. So bile comes in first and emulsifies this and breaks them down into smaller balls, but we're still dealing with balls. Bile did not do any digestion. All it did was emulsify the fat so that it is dissolved better in the fluid inside the digestive tract. Next, who, who's going to come in? Who's going to do some work? Lipases. Who are they? They, that's where digestion is going to take place. And in fact, a lipase is going to break a triglyceride into two fatty acids, one fatty acid plus another fatty acid, plus this fatty acid attached to the glycerol. That works. Now, here's the cool part. Hydrophobic or hydrophilic are these things. They're all totally hydrophobic, but guess what? They can just diffuse. Oh, does that kind of feel like a relief? Like where are our transporters? No transporters for fats because they're hydrophobic. They just diffuse through the cell membrane. That's so nice. Now our fats are inside. Here they are inside our cell. Think back in bio one land. Where are they going to be processed first? If you had to pick an organelle where you would process fats, where would you do it? They get processed in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. That works for you, doesn't it? You remember that smooth endoplasmic reticulum processes fats. After they're processed in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, they're sent to a packaging center. What organelle would you send them to to be packaged? You know it. You would send it to the Golgi body apparatus. Golgi body, Golgi complex. I knew that there were three names for it. Golgi body complex apparatus is just one of those. You pick the one. I don't care. Whatever you learned in bio one is cool with me. It, what's the purpose of that thing? Remember that was our stack of pancakes? And it bubbles off little vesicles. And what is inside the vesicle, my friend? We'll make it yeller. That would be fat. And these are little blobs of packaged fat, but the packaged fat is still hydrophobic and it's still kind of big. So now you have these vesicles. And if you wanted to get rid of these vesicles, but they're packaged inside cell membrane, what are you going to do? Ghostbusters, no. Exocytosis, yes. You are going to exocytose the fat blobs out of the cell. Golgi body packages them so it's easy to do. Exocytosis, does this require energy? Most certainly it does. Exocytosis requires energy. Now what? Well, surely. Ugh, really? That's just wrong because that scared me. No. I picked red. I did not pick black. Of course I picked red because surely you can just diffuse the fat into the bloodstream? No, you cannot. The fat blob is too big. You're too big for that. 
It does not dissolve in. Instead, I'm showing you a very leaky tube. In fact, let's not do it like that. Let's show you a different tube that is leakier, and it's green. Why? I don't know, but they always draw it green. That tube, my fat blobs can just go right in through that leaky tube, and my fat is now inside what system? Lymphatic duct. They're called lacteals in the villi of the micro, I mean of the digestive system of like the small intestines. So these lacteals have these lymphatic ducts. They're like, it's a, it's a network of, of vessels basically, but they're just super leaky. So fat actually leaks in. The fat is in lymph fluid and you will see, we will talk about lymph fluid more. Lymph fluid is basically extracellular fluid. Anything extra gets dumped into the lymph system. And then lymphatic fluid is actually dumped back into your blood up by your heart. So eventually all this fat does get dumped into your blood. I wonder if there's a link between heart attacks and fat being dumped into um, your blood by that. Okay. You just absorbed all your fat. Are you satisfied? Me too. Let's barf.